And when quizzed about the upcoming nurses' strikes, the Conservative Party chairman said that demands for a 19% pay rise for nurses would cost the NHS £10 billion, which should instead be spent on NHS frontline services. Back to you, Chris. Gaslighting fuckers. If nurses aren't the NHS front line, I mean, what, what about ambulance drivers and, and paramedics? Are they not front line services? Give them a decent pay rise, you fuckers. They deserve it. Find the money. You all spring into action every time you crash the economy. You can find the money then, get round the table, make a decent offer. Instead, they're sending in the army telling us the unions are holding the country to ransom. The unions? Can we all just be clear about this? Our last Prime Minister blew a £30 billion hole in the economy overnight. Test and trace cost us £37 billion. Useless PPE wasted £8.7 billion, which ended up in the pockets of Tory donors. A shambolically executed Brexit lost us £40 billion in tax revenue alone. Rishi Sunak lost £11 billion by overpaying interest on UK debt. And yet, you read the front pages, it's nurses who are the ones who are greedy and irresponsible. It's the fire service that's holding the country to ransom because they all just decided they'd prefer to drink tea on a freezing picket line than save children from burning buildings. It wasn't so long ago we were clapping them, hailing them as heroes. They were all considered key workers during the pandemic, weren't they? Bus drivers, teachers, nurses. Now they're called lazy, work-shy fuckers. Postal workers striking to save what's left of the Royal Mail, it having been sold off to the lowest bidder for a quick buck by the millionaires in Westminster. But it's your postman who is destroying the country. The entire Northern Rail network on the brink of collapse whilst rail companies and their shareholders make record profits. But it's that fat lazy fucker behind the ticket desk asking for a bit of job security who's destroying our rail infrastructure. 25 to 50% of average households are unable to pay their bills this winter, whilst energy companies announce record-breaking profits. In 2021, Shell paid zero pounds on their oil production in the UK and received 100 million pounds of subsidies in taxpayers' money. Working people are suffering at the hands of corporate greed and unbridled economic mismanagement, and this is why people are striking for better pay, conditions, and job security. Recently, the government gave us the public order bill that, that even one Tory peer described as an affront to a civilised society. Crackdowns on peaceful protest is the purview of China and Iran, not British democracy. And yet these reactionary fuckwits tell us it's Scottish primary school teachers who are holding us hostage. The bastards who wrecked the economy, squandered our reputation on the international stage, sold off any and all of the country's assets for a quick buck are getting their mates in the media to tell you that it's bus drivers, bin men, teachers, nurses, postmen, passport control workers and rail workers who are throwing the country to the dogs. Don't believe them. They are lying to you. Well, Stum, still some weeks ahead of Christmas industrial action. Misery for commuters, patients and holidaymakers. Frustration and anger at the unions for deciding to strike over Christmas.